current COVID-19 death toll rests at over 68,000 in the U.S. and over 251,000 deaths worldwide. An influential model of the virus's expected death toll in the U.S. predicts an apex of over 138,000 deaths by the time it has died down in the U.S. World leaders have pledged over $8 billion for the development and deployment of diagnostics, treatments, and vaccines against COVID-19. Australian Prime Minister Scott Morrison said that the most likely origin of the outbreak was at a Chinese wildlife wet market and not from a lab as some proof has pointed to. A senior official in the office of the Director of National Intelligence said Monday night that the U.S. has evidence to support both leading theories of where that COVID-19 out outbreak originated, with those theories being from a wet market and from an accident in a lab environment. The same official also said that the start of the virus, quote, does not appear to have been purposeful. The family they were charged with the shooting and death of a security guard for asthma or a face mask. Calvin Merlin, age 43, is working at the Family Dollar Store in Michigan. He was shot in the head and rushed to hospital. The family, Rayoma Bish, Larry Edward, and Charnell Williams, were charged with first-degree murder along with other charges. Katie Groves, a famous pop and country singer and songwriter, has died over the weekend in her home. In Tennessee. Her death was due to foul play, self harm, and natural causes, which were determined by the coroner. Around 11 31 a.m. yesterday, a 36 year old man, Anthony Perry, was reported to have been shot multiple times in the Parkside Commons apartment complex on East Fayette Street, later being pronounced dead at Upstate University Hospital. Approximately 15 minutes later, another man had been reported to have been shot numerous times about a half mile away at 1800 block East Fayette Street and another shooting took place accordingly 12 hours later when a 28-year-old woman was shot in the midsection of the Blue Star gas station on 1410 South Salina Street, with doctors at the University Hospital concluding her injuries were not life-threatening. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, seniors, things aren't over until they are over. What does that mean? That means the variety show can still actually happen. Mr. Russo and I want to talk to you about what we can do to make this thing go digital. So we need you to come to the uh, Senior Variety Show classroom Thursday, 2 o'clock. There will be a link to the meeting there. All right. So get those creative juices going. Let's see what we can do and show them who you are. great day with a high of 50 and a low of 36. It will be partly cloudy all day. Tomorrow the clouds will roll in with a high of 55 and a low of 35. Thursday there is a high of 57, however it will be rainy all day with a low of 33. This Friday temperatures will drop to a high of 46 and a low of 33 with cloud coverage all day. Saturday there is a chance of snow with a high of 39 and a low of 32. However temperatures on Sunday will pop back up into the lower 50s. I'm Amber with your weather. supposed to be the mountain goat race, but it was canceled due to coronavirus, so I'm going to show you a new race. Welcome to the World Championships 100 meter Dachshund Dash. Runners include Crusoe, Titan, Jellybean, and Ray. Contestants to the starting block. On your marks, get set. And they're off. Look at those sausage dogs go, people. Crusoe takes an early lead, but they're all hot on his heels. Titan is pushing hard to keep up with the leader. His tongue's flopping all over the place. You can tell he's giving it his all. Crusoe is staying strong. Barely a sign of perspiration on that pup. And the final stretch. Crusoe still with a strong lead. Will he take it? Yes, Crusoe has done it. Titan coming in second, followed by Rain and Jellybean. 
Hope you had your bets on Crusoe, people. He had that race from start to finish. Now for the medal ceremony. We have Rain in third place. Titan in second. Watch out, folks. He's got a strong career ahead of him yet. And in first place, Crusoe. Wait a minute. Is he sleeping on the podium? Yes. It does look like he's fallen asleep on his molecule pet bed. Air engineered for optimal rest and recovery. Maybe that explains how he's so fast. Molecule Pet Bed. Sleep like a champion. Sleep on Molecule.